Okay, so I'm making this video to show you how to take care of the hermit crabs. And it's going to be real simple. Um, I'm showing there he is. That's the big one. He, he's, he's awesome. I love the big one. Okay, so here's the hermit crabs. And I'm making this video just to kind of show you guys uh, what I do to take care of them. And it's really simple. But let's look. He's in there. That's actually the second. That's the middle one. And the big one, he's over there. There he is back in there. He's hiding. And the little one, I don't know where the little one is. He's, he's hiding somewhere. But anyway, I make this video to show you guys what I do. Uh, over here in this corner is salt water. Over here in this corner, in the big dish, right there is fresh water, and that's for them to, that's like their swimming pool. And then back there where that guy is at, that's the drinking water. So for the fresh water, all you ever use is bottled water. Don't use water from the sink. Use bottled water. And the bottled water goes in the fresh water swimming pool. And it goes in the drinking water back there. Salt water. Salt water has the blue lid. Okay. And salt water goes in that one there. And you don't have to fill these every day. You only fill them when they need to be filled. And then salt water also goes in the spray bottle. And that's for spraying inside to keep it nice and humid in there. So that. They, they stay nice and moist. Hermit crabs, the biggest danger is if the air gets too dry, they will die. They need to have humid weather. That's just like you have in Thailand. They need to have humid weather. So in the next clip, I'm going to look inside, and I'm also going to show you. Okay, food. so I removed the lid, and we're going to look inside. Now, of course, as soon as I removed the lid, they all ran and hid. There is the little guy back there. You see he has the he has the Donald Duck shell. He's hard to see in the dark there. But what we're looking for is we're looking for our thermometer barometer. See if we can get it. And see, right now, it's at almost 100% humidity on the right-hand side. That's very good. 100% humidity is what they want. And if you see the temperature is at 70, 70 is good. The temperature should be between 65 and 85 degrees is perfect for them. So the left is the temperature, 65 to 85 and the right is the humidity. And anything over 80% humidity is good. Okay, so that's the very important thing to keeping them alive. Is a lot of humidity and keep them warm but not hot. Okay, so see if I can. There's the swimming pool, fresh water drinking water, salt water, and this seashell is their food dish. And I will bring that out. It's not going to focus too close. But the food dish is what I put the food in. And I put the food in there about every two to three days. And I will take the old food out, get rid of it, so it don't get moldy and I will put the new food in. In the next clip I will show you what kind of food to put in there. Okay so here we have all the different kinds of hermit crab food. You don't feed them all of this food every day. We just have different varieties just like you like to eat different food from time to time. The hermit crabs are the same. Their favorite food is the dried shrimp and I only put one or two of these things in at a time. And 
Let's see if I can open this up. You can see them in there. And I only put like that many. Just just a few dried shrimp. Okay, this is a bag of dirt. But it's a bag of dirt that has worm poop in it. Okay, I know that's crazy. But they like to eat worm poop in the dirt. So you put a little bit of that in there. And these bags are just different dried food. This one is dried fruits and vegetables. This one is dried dried blueberries. And this one is pecans. Just pecan nuts like we would eat. And again, you only put a few. If you're putting pecans, you put maybe two or three. And you can see how much food is in the dish in there now. It's not a lot. So you don't have to fill the dish up to the top. You just put a little pinch in like you see in there right now. If you look down inside of there, it's kind of hard to see. If we look there, you can see the dish. Okay, so it doesn't take a lot of food, and you change the food every two to three days just so it doesn't get moldy. They never eat all the food you put in there. Okay, the next clip, which will be the last clip, I'll show you how to spray the mist and keep it humid inside the cage. Okay, so I'm going to try to show you this with the video camera. But every two days or so, I take the spray bottle. It has salt water in it. And I spray around. Now what I do, the first thing I do is I take the food dish out and I take the drinking water out because I don't want to get the salt water in the food and I don't want to get it in the drinking water and I try not to get it in the swimming pool but I take it and you see I'm spraying the and you don't have to get it real real wet but you just want to get the glass a little bit wet. Let me see if I can get down here. Hope I didn't get it on my lens. But we want it to be nice and humid in there. And then another thing I'll do to make it wet is right in this area here is where the heat mat is and this this uh, sand will get dry not a lot not a lot just a little bit of water in that area and that's it that's all you need to know about the hermit crabs you don't have to pick them up it's not good to pick them up and hold them too much they can pinch you okay uh, so just let them be in the cage, look at them through the window, enjoy them while you have them. These are actually my niece's hermit crabs. I look after them while she's away at school. And I thank you all so much, everybody, for looking after them for me and for my niece, Alyssa. We both thank you very, very much. And we hope you can do your best to... Keep them alive and have some fun watching them. If you just sit back and you sit away from the cage, let them be in the room. Uh, when you look over, especially at nighttime, they like to come out and run around and play. Okay, guys. Thank you so much.